Hello friends and welcome back to my monster build series. Today we're going to be continuing the theme that we had last time and uh, we're going to be looking at more living room furnishings. Today we're going to be doing 10 media centers that are going to spiff up your living room and make it, uh, you know, very entertaining. All right, that's enough chit chat. Let's do it. All right, first on the list is the Marlowe. You'll need everything you see here to build it. Yep. Okay, first things first. We're going to put a slab here, a slab here. Then we're going to put our stair here and here. Just like so. Slab on top, slab on top. Two slabs in the center right there. Then we're going to switch over to our blast furnaces and our gray concrete and our banner. We can go ahead and put the deep slate away. Blast furnaces, we're going to put away, put them in backwards just like that. Oops. Gray concrete, gray concrete. That's our speakers, just like that. Oh, need the black concrete. And that is our screen right there. And then of course, there we go. Oh, and last but not least, just to give it that little bit of extra accent, we're gonna throw in our frog lights. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, up next is the Strindberg. So for the Strindberg, you need everything you see here. It's a little bit different this time. Okay, we wanna start with the deep slates and we're gonna put a stair here and a stair here. Next, we're gonna put a slab there, there, and then we're gonna put a stair here and a stair here. That'll make more sense here in a second. Then we're gonna grab our blast furnace and again, we're going to put it backwards. Similar to what we did before, just like so. All right, now we're going to grab our concretes. We're going to put two gray concretes here. Two here. Perfect. And we're going to put in our black concrete there. Beautiful. Now we're going to start Throwing in a little bit of decoration this time. We're gonna throw our speaker banners on, of course. Uh, this time though, we're gonna go for a little bit of a backlight right there. And just so it connects in, it's kind of our wire, right? There we go, there's our speaker wire. Beautiful, beautiful. Still needs one other thing though to really make it pop. So we're gonna put this here. There we go. That lever is already fixing that for us. And we will line them across the top. And then to fix that, oops, I didn't put it here. To fix that, we are just going to put a lever on the back side of this block right here. And the one over here. There we go. Put us a little temporary block here and our screen up. Beautiful. I'm gonna get the popcorn. All right, everyone, next up is the Osborne. All right, everything you need to make this is right here. Uh, one special edition is the invisible item frame. You don't necessarily need that, but I think it looks particularly nice. All right, let's get into it. All right, first thing we need is some deep slate blocks right there. Polished deep slate, excuse me. And we're gonna put down blast furnace and blast furnace, just like that. Next, we put our gray concrete in right beside those and that's kind of our base next we'll go ahead and throw our screen on our speaker banners 
And then this is where we will start to get a little fancy. Uh, oh, get that out of there. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our invisible item frame right here. We're gonna put our shield on that. There we go. Now we'll put our item frames on here. We're gonna put these trap doors in to make our door handles. And then if you aim for this edge here, you'll be able to place the banner right in front, just like so. And then we should be able to throw the screen on. Looks good. Okay, next we have the Moliere. Everything you need to make the Moliere is right here. All right, we're gonna start out with the stairs and we're gonna put four down just like so. Our screen goes right above that. And then our blast furnace is on the side. Boom, boom. Beautiful. Then we need our concrete and our speaker banners. We're almost done. We're almost done. Now we're going to put item frames on each of these blast furnaces. We're gonna throw our trap doors in there. Our banners, make a nice cabinet door. Oh, and of course, we will need a temporary block. Put our screen on. Oh, and the piece de resistance. Just a little cap on the top, just to make it look nice and neat. Beautiful. All right, guys, next on the list is the Ibsen. All right, guys, everything you need to make the Ibsen is right here. It is a little bit different than the other ones we've been doing so far. It's more of a rustic look. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down three bookcases, and then we're going to put down our beehives on the ends. Note blocks over top of those, just like so. Black concrete in the middle for our screen. So far, so good. We're gonna put a trapdoor on top of there, trapdoor on top of there. Oh, I forgot. We'll just put that banner aside for a minute. A little bit of brown carpet on top, just to kinda, kinda close it in. I think it looks good. We're gonna put our item frames on the beehives. This time we'll use our brown banner with the oak trap door. Put the trap doors on first. Just think it's easier. Then we'll put on our banner, our banner, and then a slightly different speaker banner design. Now, if you wanted to, you could make this one block wider to uh, make sure you can fit that painting on there. And there we go. All right, next we have the Shakespeare. Everything you need for the Shakespeare is right here. We're gonna start out with our bookshelves, our barrels, our note blocks, and then our black concrete. And yes, that is a shulker box. It's a design choice, you'll see. Oh, we might as well grab the banner while we're at it. All right, to start out, we're gonna put a bookshelf here, and then we're gonna put four barrels just like that. Bookshelf on the end. Next is a barrel, oops barrel and a barrel just like that and then this one gets just an absolutely massive screen once you're done with the screen then we'll put our shulker boxes here note blocks underneath those just like that and you guessed it our speaker banners are gonna go right there all right, so far so good. Next, we're gonna grab our trap doors. So we might as well grab the lantern. I think that's everything we're gonna need. Before we get into too much further, we're going to break out these blocks because we need one of those right there. And we'll just fill that in. And then we're going to take our spruce trap doors and we're just gonna run them right up the side, just like so. Same thing on the other side. Uh, 
and then across the top. Beautiful. Now to put the final touches. Oh, I did forget to grab these brown banners. We're gonna need those. So we're gonna put item frames all across here. Put on our handles. And you could use the, the regular oak or you could use the iron ones. I'm gonna use the iron ones this time. Put our brown banners on. Beautiful. Uh, we'll throw a lantern in here, I think. And another one right there. And see, we will make this a closed cabinet. And a nice little trick I like to use. Put a temporary block there. Break it. Looks like the door is open. Beautiful. And of course, oh, there we are. What is this, Hamlet? Looks great. Okay, next up is the Wilder. Everything you need to make the Wilder is right here. And yes, I know that was a Wither Skeleton Skull. It's fine. You can make this survival friendly. Well, more survival friendly with, uh, you know, just uh, get a regular Skeleton Skull. It'll be fine. At the end of this one, uh, we're going to check out some custom heads that I will link in the description. So uh, you guys can uh, decorate your media centers up just as nice as mine. Okay, first we're going to start with a bookcase right here. Then we're going to put spruce plank, spruce plank, spruce plank, spruce plank, and another bookshelf. We're going to leave that gap just like that. Next, we're going to take the planks and we're just going to fill in here. I know that is different than it has been, but trust me, it will work out. Next, we're going to need these spruce trap doors. Uh, we're going to build them up the side just like this. There we go. Four of them just like so. And then you want to run them across the top just like that. We're going to put one down here to be our open door. And for here, we'll put a barrel. Next, we're going to grab our item frames. We'll grab this one. I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a minute. So we will put our item frame here. We will hang, oh, we'll put our handle on, hang our banner, just like that. Open door, beautiful. On this one, we're gonna do the same. Put on our handle and our banner, just like that. But here in the middle is where we'll use these. Now you don't have to use the invisible item frame. You can absolutely use the regular item frame. I'll show you the difference. So put our handles on, flip them to the top, then we'll take our sign, put that back around, just like so. See, it still works. It's still, uh, it still works. I just prefer it with the invisible item frame. And uh, I'll display on screen right now how you can get that invisible item frame in creative mode yourself. All right, next we're going to put a little shelf in right here, shelf in right here, and then we will do a shelf, not a shelf, a wall, I should say. Wall. Then we're gonna take our oak trap door and we're just gonna put it there and there, close them up, there and there, close them up. And now we'll take our decorative stuff and we'll put, uh, let's see, we'll put a lantern here, put a little potted plant there. That looks great. And then you can use your skull to be a speaker. Just like that. Oh, and then we need our screen, of course. Look at that. It looks great. Now I had mentioned custom heads a minute ago. I have a few in this baby right here. Let's take a look. Uh, we have some actual speaker custom heads. And again, like I said, I will leave a link in the description about where you can get these. Uh, you know, what else can we put in here with it? We will put in, well, why not? We'll have a Nintendo Switch. Digital clock, PlayStation. Cool. And now we can break this. 
Doesn't that just look so much better? Uh, we'll put PlayStation. Maybe our Switch can go down here. Just like that. Oh, you know what? We'll put a clock up here. There we go. Oh, it looks great. Okay, next up we have the Elliot. This one is a super, super duper simple design, but it's also really elegant and kind of modern looking. I really like it. Uh, as I said, super simple. Look at what we have here. Very minimalistic. We're just gonna grab it all because uh, it's, it's not gonna take long at all. All right, first things first, we're gonna put down our carpet right there and then two on top. I know that looks weird. Just, just, you'll see. Uh, behind that, we're gonna do a pillar of stained glass, just like that. Stained glass panes, excuse me. And then, oh, we need uh, deep slate stairs as well. I thought I grabbed those. Remember to grab those, guys. You're going to need them. Uh, we will put temporary block here because we need that stair to go like that. Perfect. Another one. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go, and there we go. And then we're going to put our regular deep slate on top, just like that. Next is our screen. And then, very simple. There you have it. All right, next on the list, we have the Hansberry. This one involves everything you see here. We're gonna start with uh, the bookshelf, the quartz stairs, the slabs, the deep slate, uh, the diorite, um, and we will take these custom heads, not on my head. <laughs> uh, you could also substitute this for a skeleton skull or, you know, something. Custom player heads will be in the description, again. Well, we might as well grab the black concrete while we're in here. All right, we're going to start with a slab right there and right there. And then we're going to go stair and stair. Slabs all the way across the top. Then we will break out these blocks and we will place that with our bookshelves. And then we're just going to bust those two out there. We'll put our screen in just like so. Then we'll put our diorite walls in right there, right there for our speakers. And then we can switch up to our decorative parts like that. Uh, trap door, trap door, trap door. This is where that podzel comes in. Little potted plant. You could always switch this out for uh, any leaf block you so desire and then a uh, little floor lamp over here just because oh, just because i think it looks nice oh well that's not gonna work there we go beautiful and last but most certainly not least we have the beckett all right, everything you need to make the Beckett is right here. We still have these nice custom speaker heads. Uh, I just really like them, but you can always, again, substitute these for a skull. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our slabs, uh, our acacia trap doors, and you know what? It's not that much stuff. We'll just grab it all. Uh, we will need this piston and lever in a moment. All right, guys, this time we're going to start a little different. We're going to start with an armor stand. We're going to put it two blocks apart go ahead and put in our deep slate and then we're going to put bottom slab right above it then we're going to take a piston put it above that and we will push it down then what we'll do is we'll take an acacia trap door and we will put it on top just like that i know that looks weird but it'll make sense in a minute I'm gonna put that just like so and push her down. And then 
this time. We want another one, just like so on top. And then we can go ahead and break that apparatus. Next, another piston. Do the same thing on this side. We can break that apparatus now. Now on the other ones, we'll just use the slab. We'll just set it there and there. Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. It kind of looks like it's made to like hold it together. And then uh, oh, we need our temporary block. There we go. And then of course we want to put in our speakers. Just like that. looks good all right guys i hope you enjoyed these 10 media centers for your minecraft house and uh just like i said last time i'm currently working on my lag mansion uh if you guys think one of these should belong in my mansion's living room let me know which one you guys like in the comments well, I hope you guys took some inspiration from this. I hope you guys use some of these in your Minecraft worlds. And, you know, do all the likey, subscribey stuff, because it really helps the channel, and I like making these things for you guys. Well, I hope we see you next time here on Monster Builds. Until then, this has been the Lag Monster. Craft on, guys.